Welcome to this week's supply chain update, brought to you by Phoenix International. Alibaba International introduces a semi-managed service for domestic traders expanding overseas, streamlining logistics, financing, marketing, and after-sales. A response to the trend of managed overseas expansion, it simplifies global market entry for domestic traders. The U.S. merchant ship Gibraltar Eagle is struck by a missile in the Red Sea, marking the first direct hit on a U.S. vessel in the region. As confirmed by the U.S. Central Command, the incident on January 15 caused no injuries or significant damage to the Ultramax bull carrier. New mid-axle trailers, emerging since the 2016 GB1589 standard, undergo testing for higher cargo capacity. Despite concerns their flexibility in diverse transportation, scenarios could revolutionize regional and feeder logistics. The Red Sea crisis threatens global shipping routes, particularly impacting the Asia-Europe trade channel, the Suez Canal. Companies adapt with alternative strategies, like air freight to mitigate increased transportation costs and delays. The Port of New Orleans has received a substantial federal grant of $226 million for constructing a new mega container ship terminal. This grant, part of the Infrastructure for Rebuilding America program, aims to enhance Port Nola's capacity, aligning it with the expansion happening across the U.S. Gulf Coast. The Louisiana International Terminal Project will benefit from this investment, representing a significant federal commitment to bolstering U.S. port infrastructure and capacity. The Port of Los Angeles ends 2023 with a 2.5% cargo processing increase, marking five consecutive months of year-over-year -year growth. Despite challenges, it maintains its status as the busiest U.S. container port focusing on community investment, sustainability, and technology enhancements in 2024. And that concludes our update on the global supply chain. Thank you for joining us. We will continue to monitor these developments and keep you informed. You can follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube for more supply chain related updates.